Well, folks, they're back at it again. The California legislature is trying to add more restrictions and more regulations to landlords uh, to the Tenants Protection Act of 2019. Hi, my name is Rob Wells. I'm the Landlord Warrior on TikTok and YouTube. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Now, I uh, just wanted to bring up um, a bill that is pending in the Assembly now. It actually passed the California Senate. It's SB 561. It's uh, basically adding additional restrictions into the Tenants Protection Act of 2019. And the ma the major restrictions now are going to be for the three no fault, just cause reasons listed under uh, the TPA. Um, those are primarily um, owner move in evictions. Uh, withdrawing your property off the residential rental market, aka Ellis Act evictions, and um, substantial remodel and repair um, terminations of tenancies here. Uh, what this bill is actually doing is putting on additional restrictions to like owner move in evictions. Current law is basically you can have, you know, the owner, their spouse or domestic partner, parent, child grandparent grandchild can move into the house well now this bill is going to add a provision in there that says hey those people have to actually live in the residence for at least 12 consecutive months um there'll be restrictions on ellis act or withdrawing properties off the residential rental market um evictions this new bill will basically require that Owners now need to record a notice um, with the assessor recorder's office, basically, of their intent to withdraw the property. Currently under the law, you don't have to do that right now. Um, and it could impact a lot of landlords going out of business or, you know, if they sell the property, it could cause issues with um, the successor owners being able to rent the property out again. And then they're adding provisions to... Um, restrict the substantial remodel um, terminations. Um, one of which is landlords now, if this bill passes, will have to offer the unit back to the tenant at the rental rate that they were charging to the tenants before. Um, it's a pretty extensive bill. There's nasty provisions in there, such as attorney's fees and trouble damages if you materially violate the statute. So um, this is the type of stuff I say, you know, you know, it just makes renting out places harder. So just be aware of it. Call your assembly member that, you know, you should they should oppose this bill. Um, if you have any comments, put them in below. And until next time, folks, we'll see you then. Thanks.